Hey, what's going on insiders? I'm here with Luke today and we're in the real room and we want to tell you guys a little bit of a story, something that I'm, I'm really excited about. Luke's kind of hopped on the bandwagon. As a matter of fact, almost everybody on our team has hopped on this bandwagon and that is the BGMQ. So let's kind of back up a little bit. Let's talk about this reel. So Going back to July of 2020, in the heat of the pandemic, okay, manufacturers were just focused on getting product out to tackle shops. People were scrambling to get rods, reels, lures. It's still kind of the way today, but manufacturers weren't focused on doing something new and innovative back then. They were treading water. They were just trying to get product out the door. Daiwa kind of very quietly snuck in this BGMQ in the middle of 2020 but it was only available in the bigger sizes in like a 5,000, 6,000 up to like a 14,000 for, you know, yellowfin tuna, crazy stuff like that. And we saw what was coming. I saw that come the beginning of 2021, March, 2021, to be exact, the BGMQ was going to release in smaller sizes, the 2,500, 3,000 and 4,000 sizes, which are perfect for the inshore market. I had a Michael Burry MD moment. Like I was losing my mind. I thought this is going to be the future of spinning reels. And I called it. Here we are, fast forward almost a year later, and Luke has been rocking the BGMQ. I've got two of the 3,000 size. Almost everybody on our team has one. And guess what? Zero complaints. Like yep. in any new product within the first year of kind of a dry run, we got to hear something. Like, okay, maybe there's a bad anti reverse or. You know, maybe the spool doesn't oscillate. Maybe the line lay isn't right. Zero. Like, it is, it's flawless. And I get, I get goosebumps talking about it because for the value of what this reel is, for a 2500 or 3000 size spinning reel, at that $200 price point, nothing can touch it. Like, I, I can very proudly say that put up against some other competitors like a Penn Spinfisher 2500 or a Shimano Stratic FL, which is for, you know, respectfully, the best Stratic in its category so far, for about $200 at that same price, this blows it out of the water. And I kind of want Luke to take it away and tell me your personal experience with it, man. You you got the 2500 what, like six or eight months ago? And yeah, I got it early on. And, yeah. and what I found, and my true belief, is that this is the best value premium reel, right? I still love the Fuegos. I still use the Fuegos a lot, but I've been using this pretty hard for the past year, plus or minus. I've been very abusive to it. I've been taking down to the, to the keys. I just have the 2500. I've, I was snook fishing, hooked into a, a giant shark, ate my snook, and was just ripping drag out to the point where I had to, I had to do the break off. There's actually a video on it. I thought that was going to mess up the drag because it was just pulling out like a, it was like a 10 foot shark at least. Yeah. And it's still fine. Drag's still good. I haven't been washing it super you know, much. I just do a quick spray down after trips. It is still flawless. This is a brand new one, but my personal one is still good. And to the point where now I'm putting my own money in these. Now all my all my reels that I'm buying personally are now these BGMQs. And it's just been good. It's been a workhorse. And as Justin said, we've sold a good amount of them to insider members, not a single complaint. And uh, it's just really proven to, to work. Yes, it is more expensive than the Fuegos, but I have some Fuegos that I got around the same time, time as the BGMQ, and the MQ is still rock solid. The Fuegos are starting to show a little bit of wear and tear. So, um, yes, the, you know, the lower end ones are still good. They still work. These just will work longer, and just it just feels better. If you hook into a 10-foot shark on any other reel, whether it's even aluminum-bodied or composite plastic body, what will happen is all of that pressure and strain on the insides, it's the oscillation camshaft, it's where the main gear meets the pinion. Even on, on some other aluminum reels, that amount of torque and pressure would bend something. It would bend a main shaft, it would throw a gear out of alignment and you'd have a problem. I've had that issue on, on reels in the past. The fact that this MQ body is so compact that everything's in perfect alignment, it can take a lot of pressure and nothing's gonna get blown out of alignment, which is, I mean, that's impressive. Yep. Like I, I've caught some pretty serious big red fish. I've caught, you know, giant 20 plus pound black drum on this little 3000 right here. I've actually caught 10 pound triple tail in 45 feet of water on the East coast in Canaveral where those buoys are gnarly. Mm -hmm. Like you need a lot of pressure to pull those triple tail away. So we're, we're super impressed. Really spec it side by side. Look at all the features guys. Look at line capacity, look at drag, look at inches per turn of how much line it brings back in. Look at weight. The only thing about this, this is an aluminum bodied product. Aluminum bodied products are known for being a little bit heavier than carbon composite, the lightweight plastics like the Fuegos, but still 
2500 solid compact aluminum body it's only like eight ounces 8.3 ounces yep. that's super lightweight like most aluminum reels are 10 ounces plus check, check it out do the research find out this this holds its own you put it in a versus head to head I'd put my money on the BGMQ all day long. It's a no-brainer. Yeah, so we just wanted to make this video. If you are in the market for a premium reel, this is a, a great option. It, like compared to, as Justin mentioned before, like the Shimano Stratic. I love Shimano's. I was a CI fanboy for many years. Every Shimano I have, this roller bearing starts squealing mm -hmm. after about three, three to six months. And this is a composite bushing. So like in 30 seconds, you could pop it off, clean it, and this will last forever. Yep. Will never need to be replaced. Drop of oil, I mean, if you need it. I've had mine for almost a year. I've never needed to re-oil mine, but this will never fail. So that's that's a huge plus right there. Yeah, so Justin had the foresight on, he's the spec guy. I'm not a spec guy, I just use it and feel it, but he, he had the foresight to go ahead and place a big order. These are hard to come by. If you're looking for that premium reel, this is a solid, solid option. I like the 2500 personally for for doing, you know, the, the light, light tackle, like 10 pound line. Side fish jump in the flats, you have the 3000. Yep, I, I like the 3000, just a little more line capacity, a little bit faster inches per turn, better pickup, and it balances well with some of the longer butt section rods yep. that I like. And, and the size difference is really not that much as no. far as the overall reel, it's really about the line capacity. Both of them have excellent drag, more drag than you can need. Yeah, same body size, the only difference is the rotor slightly wider and yep. the spool slightly wider. But there's not even, I think, an ounce of difference between the weight, you know, between the two. So they're, they're virtually identical. Yep. But, uh, but again, awesome reels. And so highly, highly recommend. So we'll put a link down below. You can go straight to the fishstrong.com, pick it up. Uh, it's awesome. Put it to the test. We know you're going you're gonna to be happy with it. And I uh, can't wait to see some big fish you catch with the new Daiwa BG reels. Woo-woo! If you're new to Salt Strong, just know we're the best inshore fishing club that teaches you how to catch more redfish, sea trout, snook, and flounder. You save a ton of money on your tackle, and you meet a lot of awesome new fishing friends. So to learn more, head over to saltstrong.com, and we will see you in the Insider Family soon.